Joel says the name Circle of Hope was carefully selected to showcase that there is hope for children with autism. We are a bundle. It's a circle of hope. The hope is continuous. Mm -hmm. It does not stop. Um, if you look at our logo, we actually have a hand as well. And we, the teachers and the people that are teaching and helping these kids, we are the helping hand. And we are giving continuous hope to parents, to the community and the learners himself. After volunteering at the Northern School, Joel says she realized there was need to establish a school for children with autism and to break the stigma surrounding the condition. I grew up around an environment where these needs were, were given to the children. I grew up in Swap of Mood. And um, I've been an advocate for people with disabilities most of my life. So we actually started as a youth group where we used to do support um, assistance for people with disabilities. But when I moved to, to the north, I actually realized um, that these needs were not being met, especially here. Um, and also the awareness, specifically when it comes to autism, um, it's not known. Joel says the school works in partnership with an occupational and speech therapist to further assist learners. She stressed that autistic learners are able and can excel in school provided they are taught according to their individual needs. As much as we have stigma going on around us, uh, it's about time that the parents really take and start paying more attention on, on their child's need. The co and it also breaks the stigma when the parents start coming out because many of these uh, issues are not known because people, parents are not coming out <laughs> to bring it out so people can get to know, um, to give more awareness and just to get your child into school for the child to get the help they need as soon as possible. She also pleads with Good Samaritans to support her school with playground material and with funds for construction of the school's first phase. Because I couldn't find uh, uh, a school that could accommodate him here in the north and uh, I think it was three years before the three years ago, yeah, before before the pandemic.